Hello and welcome to Shod of Sir classes. This is the second installment of solutions where we do a few sums and you can check out our previous videos or look for them. So in this video we will try to solve this problem. So how do we go about doing this? we have the determinant uh, let's say we solve it some some other way so a minus lambda i this the determinant a minus lambda i where i is the identity matrix identity matrix this expansion is called gives us an equation this gives us an equation in lambda which is called the characteristic equation in theory in theory there is a theorem that states that every square matrix satisfies satisfies its characteristic equations or other equation not equations since every square matrix will yield one for each okay this is called the Cayley Hamilton Hamilton theorem. So, for this, let's just evaluate the characteristic equation a minus lambda i, which will give us three minus lambda you're just multiplying lambda which is a scalar with the identity matrix and nothing else so if you negate properly and i hope you can three minus lambda one minus one two minus lambda well zero let's equate this with zero we equate this with zero right so this will yield if you can expand your determinant properly 6 plus lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 1 equals to 0 and this will eventually lead to lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 7 equals to 0. Now by Cayley Hamilton theorem, by Cayley Hamilton theorem, which is this one, we have that every square matrix, every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation. Every square matrix satisfies its characteristic equation. So if you just put the value of lambda as a, so a squared minus 5a plus 7 equals to 0 so this O is a null matrix right so what we have is that this equation a squared minus 5 a my plus 7 i will give us none of these sorry that was a bit short right none of these as this should have been 0 0 0 0 this gives us this which is the null matrix o Alright, that's it for now. Please stay tuned for the next video.